It's All About Her, presented by Mariana's Physicians Group and Sago Maniago, celebrating 15 years. Hi, today I'm Jolene Tovis and I'm here at Sago Monago Birthing Center in Tumuni with Dr. Annie Berdalio and Dr. Ellen Bez. It began with a vision over 15 years ago to create a unique experience for an expectant mom and along the way they have created a little bit of history. Tonight Dr. Berdalio and Dr. Bez reflect on the birth of Sago Monago. You know, it's really great. We started as a small business, and sort of the history of small businesses is that you go out of business after one year. So, you know, it, it, uh, it feels good to, to sort of create a little bit of history. And when you're 15 years old, there is history. Yeah, we just, you know, time goes quickly and for all of us. And um, when I saw something about that we were doing this and some statistics that we've had 6,800 babies. And when you think that, you know, Sagwa's had 7, 000, almost 7,000 babies, it really gives you a sense of history that, that some time has passed. So it's, it's gratifying, it's rewarding, it's been special for the community. It all started when Berdalio came back from training in the United States, where hospitals were converting from the traditional labor and delivery room to the labor, delivery, recovery, and postpartum rooms, where a patient stayed in one room throughout the entire experience. So when I came home, uh, the hospital had the traditional uh, setup, and they were just so overcrowded. They were doing 400 deliveries a month. People were laboring in the hallways. Um, and it's really a, a unique part of medical care that doesn't need to be in a hospital. That's when Berdalio decided to develop Sagwa Monago Birthing Center, the first of its kind on Guam and now the model for Guam's LDRP rooms. Oh, because I think the new hospital and certainly the hospital's plans to renovate, they all seem to be copying our model, so we feel like that's kind of a, a cool thing. It took four years to develop the plan with countless Monday night meetings and tours of different types of birthing centers in the U.S. And after all the research, a hybrid was born. We're kind of a hybrid. We're actually, because I'm a doctor, and most birthing centers are run by midwives, they're really a lot smaller. They're houses that got converted to a couple rooms. Um, they were doing maybe eight or ten deliveries a month. Berdalio and Bez combined the benefits of a modern hospital facility with the philosophy of low intervention. Berdalio says while they don't have to intervene, they still have the amenities in case complications warrant intervention. So I think that's unique to us. If you tour birthing centers in the States, they don't look like this. They're really um, very... They're like having home births, but in a home that's run by the midwives, as opposed to, we're kind of, we're a medical facility, but our philosophy is really a home birth um, philosophy. She had this inspiration because she wanted to provide this kind of um, service to the community. And um, again, like she said, it was something that wasn't, wasn't here at that point. But like any venture, building the island's first birthing center came with challenges. And certainly the challenges are like anything else. When you run a 24-7 facility, yeah, you're paying people 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Whether you have people in here or not, whether there's babies or not, yeah, those people still draw salaries. So, so certainly the economics of a healthcare facility um, are, are quite challenging. But... Again, our commitment is really to give people an environment that's family friendly and they can bring their families in, they can have the experience they choose to have. Berdalio says she was blessed to have the resources available and took advantage of community resources to make her vision a reality. Gathering ideas from several places, Berdalio and Bez were shown how to prepare a business plan. They say they went to the Bank of Guam for finances and the Small Business Administration for help in educating them on the business aspects to get Sagwamunagu off the ground. Fortunately for us, we grew up here, so like the architecture, uh, this was a shell. Um, the Adas owned the building and so they were very helpful in getting us in here. Um, my classmate since kindergarten, Lisa Provito, was our architect, and we just gave her a book of planning birthing, or planning actually these types of facilities, and said, just do whatever you want, make it nice, but it has to have these specs. And that is how Sagwa Managu, Guam's first birthing center, came to be. For more or to watch the interview in its entirety, go to KUAM.com. With this week's Health Check Report, I'm Jolene Tovis.
It's all about her. Presented by Mariana's Physicians Group and Sago Manago, celebrating 15 years.